good day. It's your host Reese here, and here to proudly present to you our box of day tricks and videos. In this one, I'm going to show you eight tricks that you could do. Without further ado, let's get back to the place where these will really? take place. I will see you and you just right there. Here I stand with Ian. My place right here and here now is where we'll be doing our Boxing Day Tricks video. And now, I'm about to read off our first one on our video one. Coming up with this, we'll get to video two, which will be this evening. Without further ado, with that said, here are the tricks. And that is the magic 50 cent, cent nano magic trick. Here's what this will look like. Here is the performance. Okay, so here I got is two 25 cents. You can see just right here. One and two. And here I got my uh, my my nano right here. Actually, this is the place. One of my 25 cent. My five cent and uh, five, a uh, five cent into there you can just actually just hold in really, really tightly. Watch now. Check this out. You can actually just take this. You can actually, we can come out of my nano. How is this one done? As it is about to reveal the. Secrets. This is a good need to pull us off. And that is what you'll see down here. Is your magician's thumb tip. And um, four, five cents. One, two, three, four. What you see right there. Then you'll need is a nano with a case. Like this. Here, I actually made this nano specifically for other uses as, as well as for this one. What you want to do is going to preload the first two into it like this. Like that. This is facing you and only showing the nano part. Your thumb tip is palmed like that. And all it is to see is the two five cents, one, two, and the nano. You see right there. All you gotta do is simply put one into your thumb tip just like this, and then place the other like that. You make sure you pack it in tightly by pushing your thumb in like this. That way it locks in place the thumb tip like that. Keep your, your fist, then wave over the nano like this. And by magic, they end up going into the nano. You can just squeeze it like that, and it will just come out just like that. By, ma by magic, by the way, in your hand, it goes right through the nano and ends up inside of it. Do it's done, just squeeze it. the sides and having the two five cents to appear coming out from it. We kill one that involves the nano and of the five cents. There, it makes perfect sense. I just had to. Well, anyways, that's how you do the magic trick. There, we'll definitely put that on the Boxing Day list. Just that one. And that right there is how you do the magic five cent nano magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number two from the hat, right to you. And that's the trick which I like to call the coins to the phone magic trick. Here's a this will go to the phone like. 
So here I got my 25 uh, cents. So here I got my phone. Here was an actually like this. You see? It's all that matter, right? Watch. And by magic, it goes right through my phone. How's this one done? As it is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need are two twenty-five cents in local right currency. Then you'll be needing is a phone that has a console that can get moved off like this. What I want to do is gonna tape a magnet in the ends of it. You'll see, does it here? And what I gotta do is use the cover and just put it in like that. After you do that, what you want to do is going to place your, one of your 50 cents and place it where the minute is, like this. Like that. So you're going to hold it down, just like this. Take your other 50 cents, place it on top, and you just give it a tap, showing that it is solid matter. All you got to do is tap it even harder, and it will, um, this will fall down, like that. So, and go like that. And by magic, it comes right through the phone. This now is palmed into your hand. You can also, let's say, get a little quick dish into your lap at the edge of a table. As well, too. Not that you can also is make coins vanish with this, too. Coin is a front. And go watch. And I'm doing that. Simple, but the same thing. Coin up front, and end up doing that. And by magic, making that advance as well too. That way you could do uh, two in the price of one. So you could do is the uh, coin to the phone. You could do it the other way, like this, like that. Close. Yes, gotta go. That. So you can do it that way too, or you can simply just go tap like that and then drag that off like that. You'll get the same result as you would with going in that way. Cool one is involves a cell phone and two twenty-five cents. So you see, that's right here. And that right there is how you do the coin through the phone magic trick. Bring us down to our boxing day number three. And that is the magic bill appearing shades. Magic trick. Here's what this bill will look like. For this one, I'm gonna take my hat off for this one. Okay, so here I got my uh, my bill watch. Are you ready? By magic, I make shades appear from a five dollar bill. How is this one done? As is about to reveal. The secrets. All you need is a $5 bill, a local right currency, you will see, just in here. Then you will be, be needing are some nice, very slick, cool shades, just like this. All you gotta do is gonna get your bill of choice and put your shades like that behind it, yeah, like this. The uh, bill is the same size as this. Okay, so, so what you want to do is you're gonna hold the bands of your shades like this. You had the bill like this, so you can easily fold it in like that. And then all you gotta do is put it onto your face like this. And then pull the bill up front and simply pull out straight and pull it down and shades appear on your face. Like this. So the bill. Just like that. And my magic by five dollars, it gives you shades on your face. There will definitely have shades on sale with this one. And that right there is how you do the bill appearing shades. Magic trick. Box 
forcing us down to our trick number. Was it? Four. What is the trick I like to call the rising card cam pouch? Magic trick. Is it this? Well, So here I got my card, you see just in here, and I got my uh, my cam pouch, you'll see, just in here. You can actually just uh, take this into the pouch, just like that. Watch, very, very carefully. Watch this. By magic. I make it rise from the cam pouch. So how do I do this? This is about to reveal the box you need to get to you right now. Here's what you're going to need to make rising action. Okay, so here all you'll be needing is a rubber band. Any rubber band will do. Here I'm using nice and new blue. Let you see right here. Then you will be needing is a card deck. And only one card from the deck. Make sure this is a little bit low. Why you need it to be a little bit lower is so that way it gives a room for the rising action to take place. And like that, you're gonna place the elastic and just wrap it around the box just like this. Like that. We you place a card in the inside, like this, it'll go down, like this. And it's just gonna go, release it, and it just rises just like that. What you want to do is, you're gonna put this into a camp pouch, which is what you'll see just in here. So you're gonna place the deck in, just like that. And hold it like this. That way they don't get to see the box, and all they get to see is the cam pouch, just like this. Like that, so you're going to have a, uh, some, um, a selected card, or a card of, ch of uh, choice, of your choice. Just place in, like this, into the cam, the cam pouch, just like that. So they're going to see you. That they now see you have it in the cam pouch. What you gotta do is have your hands like this. And as they're doing that, making sure the cam pouch is not bent over. So that way, way it's free. That way it uh, makes this nice smooth rising action like this. Like that. And there you get a, a, a card to magically rise from the account pouch so you'll see just, with, just right there. So you'll, you'll be needing is one, two, three, four, only four things to make this one of a kind sweet Boxing Day magic trick. And that right there is how you do the rising card cam pouch magic trick. Bring us down to our Boxing Day number five, and that is the huh, the dollar magic phone box magic trick. Here's what this will look like. You can see here I got just an empty box here, and I got my dollar. So here, gonna get a fold, place into a box like this to watch by magic. It turns into a phone. From there, I just bought a phone just now. <laughs> so how did I do this? As is about to reveal the secrets. All you'll need is a few simple things. That is a bill in the right, right currency or a lucky bill, which is my lucky bill you see just right here. And then you need a small phone. That's almost in the same right color as one of your bills. Then you will be needing is this case like box. What you want to do is going to get yourself some tissue paper, white tissue paper for a flap. What you want to do is going to place your phone 
like this. Bottom facing up and the cover ring over it like this. This will create the empty box. All you gotta do is simply take your bill, get a fold, place into here, and it's gonna just drop this down like that when the box is put on. So I'll show you the bill in here. And then simply do that. Now by magic, the bill changes into a phone by the use of a nice blue box, you can see. Just in here, so it's done. Take out the phone, get the box to close, and open it. Just like that. Another very sweet one because it involves a box being Boxing Day and something that you get from it. A phone. And that right there is how you do the dollar magic phone box magic trick. Then there we're going to go is the box. So we're into our trick number six. Which is a trick I like to call the magic iTunes Apple Pack and Coin magic trick. Here is what this will look like. So you can see my iTunes pack, you can see this coin in a watch. Actually, just rub it like this. Watch. <clears throat> you see? Look. It's now magically inside. This. So how did I do this? As it is about to reveal the secrets behind this to you. Right now, here's what you will be needing: two twenty-five cents. So a du duplicate one for your first one, and an Apple iTunes card, and an iTunes pack from it. What you want to do is cut this on a size. You're gonna put it in just like this, and then get some tape and just tape it up. Like that, that way it looks like the iTunes card is actually inside the pack. What's going to do is going to place one coin in the upper part, like this. Like that. Now we just slip in. Like this. So, this is how you put the coin in, is to that little uh, part right there. And then just simply put it down like that. You're going to start with it into one side here. You're going to press your thumb like that. Make sure your thumb is hiding the coin like this. Take your uh, coin here. Show. Out. All you got to do is going to put the coin in like this and just let this drop as you put the coin right here and give it a rub. And then pull like this. Coin is already like that, all you gotta do is simply just put it into your lap. And then it's done. Just move it around in the in the iTunes car pack, just like this. And by magic, passing a coin right through an iTunes pack, you can see, just see here. Here, just done. So that you'll fall from side to side like this. So so that it actually passed right through and in the iTunes pack. Another very um, uh, sweet magic trick you can do for Box and Nakes and Vaults, an, an iTunes card, and a little bit of extra change with this one. Here we're going to get a small sock and stretch it in an epic size. And in this trick is all about the sock with this one. Which the trick I like to call... The magic stretching tube sock trick. Here is what this will stretch like. Okay, so here I got this very small sock right here. I can actually is stretch this. You think I can? Watch this. I'll pull like that. Watch. I'll pull this. And by magic, I stretch it. How is this one done? It's a very simple one. It teaches you this is done right now. All you'll be needing is a tube sock. That's nice and big, you can see. Just here. 
all they gotta do is gonna fold it up like this. So I'll come up close, like that. Fold it again, like this. That way it becomes nice and small, and just tuck it in like that. You can hold the sides like this, that way it looks just like one small sock, like this. All you gotta do is very simple. Well, I'll show ya. Look like that. It's very simple by just holding like this and pulling this down, pulling this down with your right on that hand and pulling up with this, like this. And by magic, making it stretch. There, it gets the stretch. What's in that one? Cool boxing day magic, uh, magic trick that will definitely surprise a, a lot with this. Because all you need is just one tube sock. And there, it's very simple. So I'll, I'll show you how to, to actually fold it better on the tricks table. Where I'll give a bit more in depth on how to f to uh, fold it. Okay, so here at the uh, tricks table, I'll show I'll I'll show, I'll show you what's like when um you're, you're just doing this on the table like this. So going to fold. Like that. One fold. It's like two folds. It's all about the folding in making it small enough. So it looks like that with the little bit down here and the little bit from the top. Like this. Make sure that you even it out so that it stays nice and and even. And then the, the holding of it is like this. It's all about the holding it like this, that way they'll know it's just one like small sock that you'll see this right here. And then let's see this. Very simple. No prep is required. It's all the six is just one thing and that is a tube sock. That you'll see this right here. And that is how you stretch a small sock and stretch it to an epic size. And that right there is how you do the magic stretching tube sock trick. And then now we're gonna get right down to our last trick and to our eighth one. And that is the jumbo jump cards combo pack magic trick. Is it this one? Looks like. So here I got my, my wallet right here. And um, what I'm going to now is I'm going to show you what I have on me right here. You see that, that I got this card here? Let's just take a look out here, you guys can see. That's inside this wristband. Watch, this is gonna actually change it up just like that. Look at right here. Now, let's welcome in my wallet. By magic, what appears that the card magically jumps into my wallet. So how do I do this one? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secrets behind this very epic trick. As it was, I was saving this for the last magic trick on our video one of our boxing day trick videos. Coming up after this, very quickly we'll be getting into the boxing eve tricks as well too. That way you guys get even more tricks that you can pull off. Now here is what you'll be needing to pull this one off. So all you'll need is the same suited cards. You, all you need is two duplicate, as it was. Mysteriously, the card just uh, took um, a card fly there. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, to work this, is going to place one duplicate card, one of your duplicates, into your wallet. Here I'm using is the tracker wallet. For this, going to place it in. Like this. 
something like that. Keep, keep it up like that. And then just give this a close like that. That's part of the prep. I just want to do is get your other card to change it into and place it into this sleeve. This sleeve is like, um, like, um, a nano sleeve with the plastic. What I just want to do is take your card and simply go into it like this. And slip it in like that. There it goes inside there. They can easily see the card like that. Make sure you fold it over just like that. Okay, what you want to do is even it out so that way it looks like it's actually in there. You're going to take your first one of your cards and you're going to bend it like this. Why? Because you want it to be a part of the card like this. That way it's like it actually fits in the inside like this. So there's that. All you got to do is simply is place this onto your arm like this. Okay, now why did I bend it? Because look, this is now bent like this, so that way you can easily go like this. That way it's like it's actually inside there, it really is not, it's just covering this, which it'll change into. Like that. What you're going to do is make sure that the change is covered well. And only these they see this. So then the wallet. And all you gotta do is you're gonna switch this down like this and create the change. They wanna drop it down like this. And then to do that done, you're going to open it up like this. And so the jump made in the inside of this like that. You want to do this standing up. Just to let you know. So you're gonna show by standing up and going like this. So the card in the inside. So the wallet. Place this down into your pocket or onto the table. Here I'll show you me putting this into my pocket for this one. Like this. Place it into your pocket. Just like that. So once they see that, first I gotta do is go this, could be very quick, like that, to create the chain. So you'll see, does it here. Once that's done, you're going to work them in the wallet after the change here has been made. And then it's going to go in like that. And let's take out your wallet from there. And from there, open your wallet. And so that it jumped in the inside. After it's done, take it out like this. Take it out of your wallet. Or I simply just do this. Like that. I think you can see the change in the wallet. Like that. Like that. This here is more like a great one for like street magic, basically. Like that. So pull it out of the wallet, and then you show where it jumped to after the change was made. There it makes the use of your wallet, three cards to make the change, and a sleeve for an eye touch. So you see, just right here. There it gets your, your um, hip wear gear in this as well too, and making it a very slick magic trick you could do on Boxing Day, which is today. That right there is how you do the Jumbo Jump Cards Combo Pack Magic Trick. What a pack of boxing with that one. Now you know how that's done. Ariel surprise everyone with that one.
So go have fun with these tricks you can do on Boxing Day. So that's it, guys, right there. These are your eight tricks right there. Coming up pretty soon, we'll get into the evening of Boxing Day. Boxing Day Eve, I got nine tricks that you could do on Boxing Eve that will give you something to do. Now, I'm going to is, um, end off from here and get ready for our evening batch of Boxing Day tricks. Get a box thrown out. And a shirt will come in to the screen.